Hello everyone, my name is Cristian Niculescu and welcome to another episode of Learn New Path in 5 Minutes. Today we'll talk about how you create a pivot table in Excel, but a complex pivot table. So the idea is like this. Let's go to Excel and let's create a complex private table. And then we'll see how we'll do this from your iPad. So to be able to create a private table, I will go to this one in Excel. I will say private table. I will select private table and I will say on the new sheet. Okay. And what I say on this uh, private table. So I will select here what I will do with my columns. Yeah. So basically I'll put this on the rows. I will put this on the, the columns. Uh, I will put this one with uh, with filters and I will put this on price. Yeah, so basically I I put here in different position, in different location, and I get this type of private table with filters, values, columns, and so on, okay? Let's understand how we'll be able to do this from the UiPath Studio. If you want to do this from UiPath Studio, and in this complexity, in the my higher complexity, the best way is to invoke a VBA, yeah? So you can create a VBA code, and you use the invoke VBA code, and this will be able to create uh, this uh, private table. And I have the, all the code here and I will put the code on the, uh, on the description of the movie. You have all the code here on side of the um, GitHub. Yeah, let's understand what you need to configure before uh, you do this, yeah? So to be able to configure this, so first to be able to run the, the, the stuff, you have to have the developers. So basically you can go here on the uh, customize uh, ribbon so on customize ribbon, you need to be sure that you have the developer tab selected. And if you have the developer tab selected, you'll be able to go and run the code on the Visual Basic, okay? Good. Now, if you want to call from your iPad Studio, so if from your iPad Studio, you want to call a VB code, uh, you'll put a file, for example, in my case, the file is near the project, but to be able for Excel to run this code, you need to make a configuration on Excel. And the configuration that you need to make on Excel is this one. You go basically to file, uh, to options, and um, here on the trust center, you go to trust center, macro settings, and you say trust access the VBA project to this uh, model object. Yeah, so that's the idea. It's uh, to allow the system to run VBA on this one. Okay, good. So. Uh, I will show you a little the, the VBA code. I have a VF full video with description here on my channel with um, how to work with this VBA code with more explication. But I will show you just a little the VBA code and then we'll run it to see the, um, the result. So you'll see the data will be put on the result to end. Basically, the system will do all the, the filtration with, uh, with page or column data files with all the fields from there. Uh, so this is the code. This is the code that is on the VBA file. And uh, now we'll run the code. So we'll create, uh, uh, I will create an, um, an uh, rest to sheet. Yeah. And here will be the, the results. And then I will go and run the VBA code. So B, this one will go and run the VBA code. And you'll see that the VBA code will be able to create an, uh, a pivot table exactly like the pivot table that we create together on Excel. So this is my new pivot table. And you can see here that uh, from that uh, data, we have the make, mod, uh, make and model the rows, and then you have the column, the color, the, the uh, KP, KPH, the, uh, the filters, and you have the price as a sum of value. Yeah? And if we take a look on the initial one, it was the same stuff. So in this way, you are able to, uh, to create a complex uh, pivot table using this uh, VBA code. Yeah, and like I said, in, this in, uh, in the video, I have explained all the details on, on the VBA code. The but default approach from your iPad, um, so the default approach from with activities from your iPad, will not be able to add all the filters and so on. So basically here um, you have some pivot, but uh, we'll just create a simple pivot table without, um, uh, without the filters and without, uh, um, without all these areas and all the, the custom stuff, yeah? And that's important because a lot of stuff want to, uh, a lot of uh, automation request uh, all the custom uh, stuff. Yeah, so remember, do the Excel, do, do, the, uh, do the Excel configuration to be able to run VBA, allow uh, system to run VBA from outside. You will find on the GitHub, you will find all my code with, the, with this example, and then you will copy paste and run it without um, any problem using a simple invoke code in VBA, yeah? 
As usual, if you like my movies, please subscribe to my channel, select the uh, subscribe to my channel, comment on my movies and tell me what else you want to see inside of my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. Stay safe. Bye.